Full Court Friday continues with a Big 12 clash between Centennial and Danville Chargers. Laying it on early, Gavin Taylor with the grown man three from the corner. That looks pretty. Home team responding. CL Die gets the tough driving layup. Vikings setting the pace on their court, looking to add to it on a three from a Johnny Davis. Not quite the rebound snatched up by Todd McAboo with his eye on the prize. And Centennial goes on to win this one 58 42 over Danville. Meanwhile, Central makes the trip to normal to face the Ironman. Tough night for the Maroons, but Luke Swanson, a strong showing. Some strong ball movement to kick out to Swanson. He knocks it down off the glass. 33-20 at the break. And this highlight belongs to Swanson, the junior again with the bucket. But a 70-36 NCHS win. How about some matinee basketball? The first cornball classic in Arthur has the host ALAH Knights taking on Sarah Gorda Bement. Students from both schools in attendance. Connor Nettles pulling up from three. Bouncing and the Broncos get the rebound. Tyson Moore breaks away. He gets the jump ball and that is good. But... Keep it up, Easton Frederick. He gets the runaway here, heading the other way. That trophy will go to ALAH on the boys' side, 42-37 for the Knights. Look at that thing. They got real corn in it. I love it. And it's a doubleheader in Arthur. They also have a girls' game in the battle for the Corn Bowl. Hunter Malone directing traffic for the Broncos. She is coming up to Caroline Hill with the mid-range game, neck and neck early. Claire Seal following this up for the Knights. She had a great game, 26 for Seal. And ALAH posts an eight-point win, 42-32. All right, that's going to do it for Full Court Friday. Look for my top three on our social media pages. I'll have it there for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night.